day 10, October 19th. The rain just went through about a half an hour ago and the sky is starting to clear up here. The deer have really been moving. I drove over here on the four-wheeler and uh, Tyler followed me in the truck and I saw several deer out already. The spot I'm going to this evening, uh, I'm going down into a valley in a part of the farm that I haven't hunted in several years. And there's a big and beastie plot down there and a redneck blind right on the edge of it. And it should be a really good spot for seeing deer. And that's my goal for this evening is to use this as a scouting mission. Just because again, I haven't been there in a long time. This is a part of the farm that really could produce a surprise buck. And uh, that would be a good thing right now. Uh, I did find two more on trail cameras in the past few days here that I would add to my list. So I'm up to five bucks now on the farm that I would call shooters. None of them are big antlered. Uh, nothing wrong with shooting mature bucks that aren't big antlered, but uh, it is more fun to shoot the ones that, that do have big racks. So I'll keep looking and then uh, I'll make my game plan based on what, whatever I find here in the next few days. So tonight is gonna be twofold. Scouting, uh, seeing what's out coming out in this little field, and then hopefully to shoot a doe or two. I'm gonna drive the four-wheeler in part of the way that way it's handy in case I do kill a doe, it's a lot quicker to get down in there and get her out than have to go all the way back to the house and get it. So uh, that's the mission for this evening. It's probably 60 degrees out, I'd say, uh, roughly. And it's supposed to be a northwest wind before the evening is over, and that'll set up perfect for this spot. It's a long walk uh, down across the top here and then through a valley, across a creek, and then into the little small food plot. Uh, but it'll be fun. It's always a good, cool spot to hunt, and we almost never hunt there without seeing some deer. So there's gonna be some action, I almost guarantee that. Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by RK Tractors, Ozonix, Redneck Blinds, Wasp Archery, Spot Hog Releases, RTP Outdoors, America's Best Bowstrings, Hoyman Tree Saws, and Realtree. Well, that's exactly what we were hoping for this evening. Uh, Tyler spotted him coming down from the right. I couldn't see him that well because the, that window is blocked on my side, but eventually they zigzagged around up there on that edge until uh, the doe gave me, I think she was just a little over 30 yards right in that range. So uh, one down and it's still pretty early. I'd say we've got, looking at the sun, we probably have at least two hours of legal shooting time left. And I don't think we spooked things too much. Obviously we spooked that other doe, but uh, maybe, you know, maybe we can still get another doe or possibly have a buck come out this evening.
I've got looks like three does and a fawn out in front of me. But they're checking out that doe that I shot. And I wish that that doe would have fallen about 30 yards from the blind rather than about 90 because if she had, I probably would have a couple more by now too because they all come out and they see her laying there and they just mill circles around her on the downwind side trying to figure out I guess why she's laying there dead, I don't know. I mean, they're really curious, but they always circle around. So, if I could have gotten lucky and I had her fall closer, then that would have been the perfect distraction. I maybe could have got a couple more, but there was a buck that came out about 15 minutes ago that had some potential. He was way on the other end of the field. And I was gonna grunt to him, but I forgot my grunt call at home, unfortunately. And I just didn't want to make a bunch of noise over here, you know, snort wheezing or mouth grunting at him. The scouting mission was a success. Hopefully I can get a, another doe here before I'm done. But uh, I did determine that there might be another shooter down here. He was a solid looking deer. I don't know that much, you know, beyond that. I could only see him just way off across the field with the binoculars. But this blind makes a huge difference. You know, I know people are kind of, uh, you know, 50-50 on blinds, but when it comes to stuff like this, they're unbeatable. I mean, if you're in a blind, you just aren't gonna spook everything like you would if you're in a tree. I mean, it's hard to get close to the action in a tree when there's this many deer around for this long without at least one of them picking you off and then they snort and run around and scare everything. So in situations like this, the blind is absolutely the best way to uh, make kills and to scout areas. When we get into the rut, then it's different because you get back into the timber and you get away from these edges and uh, tree stands become a lot more effective then. So there's a, there's a time and a place for everything. Right now, sitting on these little fields like this, the blind is for sure the way to go. But uh, pretty soon within the next few days, that's gonna change and uh, the rut's gonna kick. You know, and everything's going to be back in the timber and a lot of chasing and stuff going on. So that'll be a, that'll be a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to it. I wish I knew what that buck was because if he's an old enough deer, I would definitely add him to my list. Anything else that we see in the rest of the evening's hunt, we're going to tag it on the end of the video blog here. Uh, I do plan to hunt tomorrow evening. I'm going to probably try for one of the bucks that I've got already lined up that I've picked, you know, for potential shooters. So it's time to start buck hunting. You know, I'll still pick off a few does along the way, but now I'm going to shift my emphasis more and more towards uh, going after some of these bucks. So keep keep coming around and and uh, I'll keep bringing you these daily updates. There's a lot of season left. We're just getting into the, the early part of the good, the good stretch.